This is FedWatch on Zacks.com. The Federal Open Market Committee has released another decision on interest rates. At its meeting on September the 16th, the day of this taping, the Fed has made no change in interest rates. The vote apparently unanimous. The Federal Open Market Committee suggested the threat of inflation has eased somewhat. And joining me now to expand on all of this is Zach's Director of Equity Research, Dirk Van Dyke. So, Dirk, let me say, give you exactly what was said here. And, and apparently they were trying to project an appearance of calm and stability amid uh, everything that's been going on in the financial markets here in the past few days. Uh, and this is the third straight meeting with no change in interest rates. But the Fed uh, raised its concern. They were very, very, I think, coy here. They raised their concern about an economic downturn, slightly moderated their concern over inflation. Uh, but what a lot of people seem to believe is that as far as inflation is concerned, what's more conspicuous, more important, is what they did not say. They removed language from their previous statement pointing to a disturbing rise in inflation expectations. Um, yeah, I, I think, well, for starters, with the dramatic slowing of the worldwide economic growth, and this is not just uh, a U.S. thing going on here, uh, commodity prices have come down rather dramatically, uh, most obviously in, in oil, which is, is well under $100 uh, as we speak. Uh, and that takes a bunch of the inflation pressure off. This is a much more dovish statement. They're leaving open the door to cut in the future, but I think they wanted to save a little bit of ammunition. They've, they've already used... Uh, quite a bit. I mean, 2% Fed funds is a very low rate, especially with the rates of inflation that we have been seeing recently. Mm -hmm. And we got a little bit of good news on the inflation front uh, earlier this morning. Uh, but, you know, you still had uh, core inflation up uh, two tenths. It was roughly in line with, with expectations. Uh, so uh, I, I think. Yeah, they, they figured a little bit of calm. The other thing is is that they may be getting afraid of, of people uh, not wanting to invest because interest rates are, are so low, the, the saving. I mean, if it's only a 1% difference between what you get in the bank and what you get in the mattress, why do you bother putting it in, in the bank? Mm -hmm. um, so that might be a, have been a, a consideration as, as well. well. Apparently there was no code language in the statement raising the possibility of an intermeeting rate move, but the street was pretty well divided on this issue, to cut or not to cut. And uh, some say that uh, today's language, which apparently is more important than the decision here at this point, is kind of the, the nod to the street, the subtle nod to the street that uh, contained the soothing uh, remarks that the street wanted to hear. Yeah, well, I mean, they, the street needs as much uh, calming as it, it possibly um, can now. Uh, clearly, people's nerves have been frayed uh, a little bit over the past uh, couple of days. But it's... Uh, Some also say that the Fed's decision was really of little importance until we see the outcome of the AIG situation. Would you put those on a, on a par with each yeah, other? Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say that AIG is, is more important than the... Uh, the Fed decision, but that I would not say the Fed's decision is is unimportant. Uh, you know, monetary policy always makes a a big difference. Uh, but the Fed has been easing uh, through other methods. They've been making uh, massive amounts of money available through you know the all these alphabet soup things, the the TSF, adding liquidity, the, adding lots and lots of of liquidity uh, to the to the system. Uh, but, you know, still the banks are, have been so reluctant to uh, lend. I mean, the, the TED spread, the spread between euro dollar futures and, and treasuries has spiked up again, once again to the uh, sort of levels that we've seen in each of these previous waves of, of financial distress, um, like just before around when Bear Stearns went under and uh, the initial uh, reactions last, uh, last winter. So does today's language uh, tell you that the Fed has a decent handle on what's going on on Wall Street? Um, I think they're trying to, to soothe things. I, I do think that they opened up the, the door to, uh, to be more open to cuts than 
then increases if uh, if things happened uh, in there. So I, it, it wouldn't terribly shock me. But the the real big issue right now is AIG. Uh, if that uh, goes under, uh, there, there's going to be more firms will fall in a sort of a cascading effect. So that that's probably the the thing to keep your eye on. More right telling now. story at the at the time. All right. So it goes with interest rates this last time around, as far as the FOMC is concerned, with Dirk Van Dyke. I'm Terry Ruffalo. <laughs>